I made a fake one. What will Power Rangers Cosmic Fury look like? Today, we are going to try to answer those questions with some fan theories and give you all of the information that we know about Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Cosmic Fury is the 30th season of Power Rangers and it will be coming in 2023 to Netflix. We found out that we are getting only 10 episodes for this series. However, there will be no international spoilers because this will drop worldwide all at the same time. And I am super excited for that news because as a fan, I hated the international spoilers and I understand that the international spoilers don't hurt the brand as much as you would think because just the super fans watch it. But how come every year we get it spoiled? We can't have one year that we're in the dark on it. And this is the year guys. We know some information about Cosmic Fury and have an idea on what it could look like, but we do not have everything. We don't know the rest of the suits, so let's get into that. We got two suit designs a couple weeks ago. We had a look at the Green Ranger suit and the Gold Ranger suit and found out that these suits are all original. Yes, folks, we are getting original suits, original fight scenes, and original action sequences. We are still going to adapt Q Ranger, but for the Megazord battles. Now, I think that that's a really good touch. It is about time that we branch off and try to do our own thing. Now, when it comes to these 10 episodes, I think that it could be more serialized. You're going to see less monsters of the day, possibly. Maybe you will see less Megazord battles. Maybe you'll only see the Megazord battles when it's something big. Um, then it also poses the question, will we still have the lesson of the day? And I don't know if every episode is going to be filled with a lesson of the day. And you know what? I'm cool with that. Even though this past season on Dino Fury, I really liked some of the lessons of the day. They were different lessons and things that I never saw them cover before or some things that you really just need in life, man. They even be teaching me some things or reminding me some things, but we'll see what they do with 10 episodes. You can't really get too carried away with all of the filler and all of these subplots that don't really matter. Now, we've all heard the news that we are getting a Mighty Morphin 30th anniversary special with Walter Jones, David Yo, Steve Cardenas, and Catherine Sutherland appearing. We also have heard that there's an actress by the name of Charlie Curse that is in New Zealand right now. She is a martial artist actress, singer, and to throw the big exclamation point on it, she was at Power Morphicon. Now, that reminds me of a few years ago. Do you remember Liana Ramirez's big YouTube video that kind of blew up and helped her kind of take off on YouTube? It was when she was undercover at Power Morphicon and no one knew she was Roxy yet. I'm getting vibes there. I think that could be really cool. We know that there is this reunion happening. There's a special of some sort. Now, does that cross over with Cosmic Fury? That's another thing that I'm, I'm looking at and I really think that it could happen. Now, do you do like a five episode special and then in a couple of the episodes of cosmic fury do you run into billy or run into zach because listen to have all of these guys down in new zealand and kind of not capitalize on that would be kind of silly even if you didn't include the whole squad from the reunion even if you just put a few in i think it would only make sense what are your guys' thoughts there? And 
even if we don't get characters from Mighty Morphin, I think there is a chance that we could get some old characters popping up. I need to shout out the commissions who put together an awesome video. They broke down all of their ideas and people that they could see pop up in Cosmic Fury. And a lot of these make a lot of sense. So first you've got Emperor Grum the main villain from SPD. Now, in a few years, in 2025, is when SPD happens. So what if we do see kind of like a prequel episode with him and Zed? What about the Alien Rangers of Aquatar? I would love to see some Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. I personally love that 10 part mini series. I know some people are 50 50 on it, some people really like it, some people don't. But I love that mini series. I think it'd be cool to see them come back, even if they brought back like one alien ranger and billy and they're on aquatar the the cosmic fury rangers have to travel to aquatar how sweet would that be now the commissions came up with this good one and i agree i think the fandom agrees that we need to see the phantom ranger now we know that they have given us some backstory on the phantom ranger in the comics but we have never gotten any type of closure with this character in the TV show. And being that Hasbro and E1 like to play with the old storylines and connect everything like they did with the Green Morphin Master, I could see the Phantom Ranger returning. What about Troy the Red Megaforce Ranger? There was actually some rumors and talk that he could return. We don't know, but th th they brought up that character, and I was like, you know what? The fans would love that. I know there's a lot of fans out there who would love to see Troy. Now, another one that really kind of confuses me but could make some sense is what if we saw Corone? And what if she had to pose like she was astronomer like she did back in Lost Galaxy for an episode? Very interesting. Then you got Andros. I think that it would be amazing to see Andros come back and maybe go to his planet KO-35. However... There has been talk from Christopher Kamen Lee that if he came back, he would want to, you know, to change his character and do what he's doing now. Now, with these type of things, you never know. And money talks, if they give him the right bag and the, the right deal, he might be coming on down. Another one that makes a lot of sense is Trey of Treyphoria. What if we saw the OG Gold Ranger come back? I think that'd make a lot of sense. What if we talked about Treyphoria even more? This is fun. And then the number one that we kind of talked about for a second was Billy. Bring back Billy. It would only make sense. And if you see all of these characters that we mentioned in some capacity, could work in space. We're in space or or like Emperor Grum, he just makes a lot of sense because his season is coming up in a couple years and it has to do with aliens and space and stuff like that. But what are your guys' thoughts? How do you think Cosmic Fury is going to look let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this content. Let's see what the fans are saying. Lawson Allen said, I hope this season has over 30 episodes. Oh man, I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's gonna be a lot less. But I think you're gonna be able to do a lot more in these 10 episodes, more stories, more action, less filler. Cheshire Wolf said, I think the Cosmic Fury logo gave us um, was more of a promotional logo to tease us and to also announce that the Dino Fury team was carrying over. I don't think that was the official logo. Oh, you think we might be getting a new Cosmic Fury logo? Interesting. And there is a chance, speaking of the logo, that we do get the zords returning for a few episodes because the dino fury zords weren't really destroyed 
and we see a dinosaur logo. So do we still have the Dino Fury Zords for a few episodes and then they get blown up and then we need some Q Ranger Zords? Interesting. And thanks for bringing that up. It got me on a whole different level. Um, Jack said, I need a Cosmic Fury and Jungle Fury crossover right now. How sweet would that be if they brought back Jungle Fury? Hey, I can't remember because, and I'm drawing a blank. What season did they bring back the Red Ranger of Jungle Fury? Was it, was it Ninja Steel? When did they bring back our bro Red Ranger from Jungle Fury? Let me know in the comments. It's been a long time. Living Water Ministry says they probably don't get new suits until the second season. Well, there's only one season for Cosmic Fury, so I'm thinking they're going to get these new suits in the first episode or two. I'm hoping that there's this giant battle where they lose their powers and they need an upgrade. They lose their Zords and need some new Zords. I think is going to be really cool. Zamora asks, is Cosmic Fury going to be the last season of Power Rangers? There is a chance that it could be the last season of Power Rangers as we know it, but they could be moving into another direction and they're going to be giving us a bunch of stuff for adults, for kids. I have no idea what this means in the future if they're stopping this type of Power Rangers. I don't know. And I'm excited to see what happens in the future. I'm down as long as the show is good and they keep expanding the brand. I don't really care what they do. Um, John B said, since everyone's here, what year did you get brought into the Power Rangers franchise? Um, yes, I was brought in back in 1993. I'm one of the OGs that got to grow with the brand and I was two. And I remember watching Power Rangers when it came out very vaguely, but it was huge. And once it came out, I watched it like every damn day for like five years straight. So yes, I do remember. I remember getting a Black Ranger action figure as soon as they came out, like even before the flip heads, what were they? The little 12 inches, the little oversized Rangers. I had one of those, and I remember we were at Kmart. Who remembers Kmart? I wanted uh, the red one. They didn't have it. They just had the yellow and the black, and that was it, man. People were fighting over these toys, and it's really cool to see the brand grow. It's almost like as I grew up, the brand did too. Yo, I, I, I love this. Um, I love the fans. I love hearing what you guys have to say. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a big shout out to Gold Ranger member Dead Echo X-Ray. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.